Hello everyone. Welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are solving a problem from a topic called Newton laws of motion. Let's identify first of all what is given in the problem. There is a block of mass 10 kg lying on a smooth horizontal surface. So there is a smooth horizontal surface and that there is a body whose mass is 10 kg. It is being pulled by means of a rope of mass 2 kg. So generally we assume the rope is massless. But in this case this rope is not massless. It's having a mass 2 kg. A horizontal force of 36 Newton is applied at one end of the rope. So here we have applied a force of 36 Newton. We need to calculate the tension in the rope at the midpoint of the rope, somewhere at the midpoint. So being totally 2 kg rope mass, this will be 1 kg being a midpoint. This will be 1 more kg. What is the tension at this point? Is what we need to understand is this 1 kg rope pulls this 10 plus 1 towards them with a certain force, the certain tightness and we can call it like tension T. So this tension is by 1 kilogram rope on 10 kilogram body plus 1 kilogram rope. That's an action. Then this 10 kilogram and 1 kilogram also reacts, responds by applying the same tension on the other part of the rope that is nothing but the 1 kilogram rope. So this is applied by 10 kilogram plus 1 kilogram on the other 1 kilogram. So these are action and reaction pairs. They don't cancel because they are acting on the two different bodies. Now we can solve the problem. So I can say this uh, drawing a free body diagram for each part 10 plus 1 is being pulled only by one force that's nothing but tension. This is what we are referring right. So it is obvious that it moves in a forward direction. So F resultant is tension itself. M A is tension itself. What is M? 10 kilogram body plus 1 kilogram rope together. A is tension. So 11 A is the tension. That's for the first part. I can similarly draw a free body diagram for the second part also. The second part is 1 kilogram body. On this, a 36 Newton is acting in forward direction and the tension by the other piece in the backward direction. Obviously, as you have applied external force in forward direction, the system is going to move in the forward direction. So, F resultant is 36 minus tension. 36 is taken as positive because it is in the direction of the motion. So, F resultant is MA 36 minus tension. This mass of the rope is only 1 kilogram. So, 1 into A equal to 36 minus tension. So, from this problem, I can write A as T by 11 and substitute here because I want to calculate the tension itself. So, 1 into A is nothing but T by 11 is 36 minus T. So, T plus T by 11 is 36. So, by simplifying this equation further, T plus T by 11, 11 T plus T. 12t by 11 is 36. 12 threes are 36. That applies t is 11 into 3. That is 33 Newton. So at the midpoint, each one is creating a tension 33 Newton on the other part of the system. Once if you know the tension, there is no difficulty at all in calculating acceleration. As acceleration is t by 11. T you got to catch 33 by 11. 
So acceleration of this system will be automatically 3 meter per second square and both the parts of the system will be having the same kind of acceleration. That's it. This way of solving is with the help of the free body diagrams and writing equations of motion. Thank you for watching. Keep coming back for more and more video lessons. Thank you.